Hi, I'm Amy Dixon, Assistant Horticulturalist at Rinalda Gardens. Hello, I'm Michelle Hawks, Horticulturalist here at Rinalda Gardens. And just a few words on pollination and what pollination is. Um, pollination is when a plant, um, male parts of a plant produce pollen and that pollen needs to be transferred to the female parts of a flower um, in order for the plant to grow and produce seeds. So um, this can happen within the same plant. Um, some plants are, are self-pollinating um, and other plants require cross-pollination. Take blueberries, for example, blueberry bushes. Everybody, everybody loves to eat blueberries and wants them in their home garden, but um, you can't just have one. Most often you need at least three for good pollination. So um, that means that those three different plants um, rely on one another to um, have those different types of pollen be transferred from one to the other. And that's how you get the most fruit and the most seeds and the most growth produced from your plants. So um, that same process happens here in the garden as well. Yes. and. The way you can tell if a bee is doing his little pollination is that you'll see on his back legs those yellow sacs. And so this bee is going over here and then he may fly across the garden in the herb garden to another flower and get some more nectar and take it back to his home. So bees are not the only uh, little flying object that will help pollinate. So you have butterflies, you have birds as well. Um, the feathers of the birds as they fly in to get a worm or something could, you know, touch um, the flower. Uh, humans, me doing this, deer, squirrels, uh, and the wind uh, are very good examples of how pollination can happen. Mm -hmm.